I'd like to begin today's remarks by providing an update on the packages and devices that have been mailed to high-profile figures throughout our country and a media organization. I am pleased to inform you that law enforcement has apprehended the suspect and taken him into custody. It's an incredible job by law enforcement. We've carried out a far-reaching federal, state, and local investigation to find the person or persons responsible for these events. These terrorizing acts are despicable and have no place in our country. No place. I've instructed authorities to spare no resource or expense in finding those responsible and bringing them to swift and certain justice. And we will prosecute them, him, her, whoever it may be, to the fullest extent of the law. We must never allow political violence to take root in America. Cannot let it happen. And I'm committed to doing everything in my power as President to stop it. And to stop it now. To stop it now. I have just concluded a briefing with the Department of Justice following the apprehension of the suspect. I want to applaud the FBI, Secret Service, the Department of Justice, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, the NYPD, and all law enforcement throughout the entire country, incredible partners. These people have worked so hard, and to have done it so quickly, it's looking like a uh, — you're looking — it's a needle in a haystack. How do you do this so quickly? They've done an incredible, incredible job, and I want to congratulate them. But a bottom line is that Americans must unify, and we must show the world that we are united together in peace and love and harmony as fellow American citizens. There is no country like our country. And every day, we are showing the world just how truly great we are. Yeah. 